Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. Now, in today's short little video, what we're going to be doing is looking at why you shouldn't, or why you maybe shouldn't, always buy gear promoted by other YouTubers. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. And first off, in part one, what we're going to be doing is looking at gear from the awesome Peter McKinnon and his latest release, the new camera tool, as I've managed to get my hands on one and I don't even think you can buy it anymore. Actually, let's have a quick look. Now, can't find it. It seems to be sold out, so there won't be a link down below. However, when it's released, again, I'll pop one down there for you. And going forwards, what we'll have a look at is his other gear, like his bags, his accessories, and other bits and bobs that will help improve your um, photography or video work, or may not. But before we start, as always, is today's little joke. What do you call a cow with a twitch? Beef jerky, of course. So, before we look at why you shouldn't buy it, let's look at why you should buy this new camera tool from Peter McKinnon. Well, first off, if you're a fanboy, a fangirl, fan person, or even a fan dog like my Percy, and he loves Peter McKinnon, follows him on Instagram and that new VO, I think it's called VO anyway, then you're probably going to go out there and buy it. But for me, that's not a genuine enough reason for you guys to go out there and buy it, and we'll address that question later on. The first real reason you're going to buy it is the quality of the gear, because with Peter McKinnon, you know if he's endorsed a product that it's going to be top notch and it's pretty tickety boo. It'll be the best of the best. It's taken Peter, I believe, it's over a year and a half to develop this, so you know it's going to be good quality and does all the stuff that he wants it to do, which actually normally means it's the stuff that we want it to do, but we haven't been able to find it. And when you compare it with other things on the market, like this small rig one, for instance, which is what I've always used myself, um, it's pretty good. It's got nice little spaces on here and it's well um, made, nice, good quality and all of that. But there's little things like, you know, the fact that you've got to move these all out here and everything else. And we'll look at that and compare it with the new one in a sec. But right from the beginning, when you start looking at the packaging, it's like something that's sold to you by Apple or Samsung. Just take a look at this. Even when you open up the box, there's a nice little sticker in there which just adds that little je ne sais quoi. And you really do know that you're going to be happy with something when it's packaged just like this. And yes, I am sad. I do keep all my boxes. Just look at this. It's still so nice. Just the outside of the box, for starters, is really, really good quality. And look at that gold lettering. It just adds that little extra touch, doesn't it? Inside the box, you'll see that it comes with its own little pouch, which means it's really easy to find in your bag and keeps everything together, which is really important, as you'll see. As you probably know, there are a few of these out there on the market, like the small rig one, this one here that I've had in the past. It does come with its own little pouch, and there's nothing wrong with this. It's a great option, especially if you're Dosh, your Spondoolies, your Moolah, you know, your dough, your money is an issue. Now, I think this is the ultimate camera tool. It does cost a bit more money, obviously, but it does everything you need it to do. If you're into photography or making videos, as it's fully customizable. It has a belt clip on it that is awesome, and this mechanism here kicks out the tools onto the side and then locks it nicely into the center, no matter which one you're doing. I don't know how they've worked this out, but every single one, whichever arm it is, lands in the center, just like this. Reminds me a bit of the old Swiss Army knives. Also, in the back here, as I said earlier on, this is why the pouch is really important. You get this nice little strip of extra bits. So that means no matter what setup you've got, you'll be able to make it fully customizable and use it for your gear and all your setups. And as you'd expect, they match the rest of the tool as well, all in black, every single little bit. You've even put a signature on the front here. And then you just take one of the bits out that you want to use and it locks in lovely with this little magnet. Just listen to this. The more I use this, the more I'm falling in love with it. Also, look at this. Down inside, there's another little indent made there where you can store an extra one, and it's also got a magnet in there, and you can put them on each of the arms. Plus, that's not all. What's the one thing most of us either forget to put in the cameras or forget to take a spare one? Yep, that's right, an SD card. And this tool is going to be a lifesaver. Like I said, Peter normally thinks of everything, and inside here, you can even store, just like this, a little SD card. And although they've made it really, really easy to use, you can see nicely printed inside the leaf of the box is all the instructions of how to use it rather than having a book flying around or a little scrap of paper. And one of the last reasons that I buy Peter McGinnon gear is because of the detail. I love detail. Just look at this. Little pirate emblem, even on the little clip here. So why should you consider buying this? Well, it's going to be down to the quality of the gear. It's going to do what it says on the can. And also, as I said, the detail. But why shouldn't you buy this? Well, as I said earlier on, if you are a fanboy or fangirl or fan person, 
don't feel under pressure to go and buy it because it's the latest piece of kit. And actually, because it's sold out at the moment, you won't be able to anyway. Number two, if you can't afford to buy it, don't stick yourself in debt to go and buy it. You've got two options. You either save up and get it when you really can afford it, or go out and buy, like I said, one of these small rig ones. And there will be a link for these down below because they are quite good. Yeah, go and buy one of them because they are a good option. But if you really want it, save up. Don't stick it on your credit card. And number three, it's pretty obvious, but it's that impulse thing, isn't it? You don't need to necessarily go out and buy all the gear. I mean, I've been caught with that trap before. I've bought loads of Elder Crone kit. I've got all the sliders, the jibs, and all those sort of things. I've probably used them all once, but they are awesome pieces of kit. So if you don't need it, just don't go and buy it just for the sheer hell of it. Unless, of course, you're minted, then you can buy us all one. So my overall opinion on this is if you can't afford it and you don't need it, don't go and buy it. However, if you do want it and you can afford it, it's an awesome piece of kit. It is quite honestly the best of the best out there. And as I said earlier on, we've got some more Peter McKinnon gear coming up and other YouTubers branded stuff, which will be looking at the reasons why you should buy it and also why you shouldn't buy it. So you know what to do if you don't want to miss out. Stay safe out there, everyone. Have fun making stuff. Keep smiling. Cheers for now. Gear from the awesome Peter McKinnon. McKinnon? McKinnon even. First off, what we're going to be doing in part one is looking at awesome gear from the... First off, in part one, what we're going to be doing is looking at awesome gear by your phone going off. First off, what we're going to be doing in part one is looking at gear from the awesome Peter McGinnon.